Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be working on this Honda Civic, this particular model is 2008 and uh, we've got the issue with the, the airbag light so what we did is uh, we did the, the investigation on the diagnostic tool it's the fold code uh, 1210 uh, it says uh, open in the front right uh, first airbag inflator so just going to show you where the location is for that There is the location for that sensor. It's gonna replace that with the second end one. The location is uh, right behind the washer jack bottle. So you'll have to take the wheel off. Also, you'll have to remove the wheel arch liner. And uh, there is the bolt which you need to take off. That is the Torx bolt. So that's the sensor you'll have to change in order to tackle uh, the airbag light on the dash here is the second hand uh, crash sensor I've got from uh, eBay for 20 pounds so it's uh, like for like so I'm just gonna use a T30 eBay to remove this bolt here and then we're gonna show you how to uh, disconnect the sensor connector And that's the bolt out of the way. So here is the sensor. So I just want to tell you that it's very, very important that you disconnect the uh, battery uh, before working on any airbag components, i.e., sensors or the airbag itself. In my case, I've already disconnected the battery. So, what we need to do here is uh, we need to Pull this connector all the way back. So we need to pull this connector all the way back, and that's how it pulls out. So it's this connector here, which you just pull towards you, and that's how the old faulty crash sensor comes off. So this is the SRS. Uh, sensor which we have taken off so old one faulty one and the good working condition second hand one here so we're gonna take this uh, cable tie off right there we go so the way it gets fitted is like this again we're gonna pull the tab all the way back So just gonna get fitted in this manner so just gonna push it all the way in right so just gonna drive in the screw There we go. So that's the good second and uh, part nicely been fitted. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the battery terminals. Right, there we go friends. Just gonna insert the key and start the car up. So the the fault uh, has disappeared. Make sure that the part number is uh, matching with the part you're gonna replace. And uh, hopefully this uh, will sort the problem out with your car. The fault we had was uh, fault code 12-10, open in the right front airbag first inflator. So uh, that, that was the fault we were getting which uh, is uh, not there anymore 
so hope this video is gonna help you fix your car thank you very much for watching the video